Alright, so I think I got it figured out. This thing, it's a little different because it's got two panels. But I think I've got her. Morning everybody, Jason Hollis Farms. Oh. First off, I want to say to all y'all new people, if you like this stuff, y'all are watching on our videos, subscribe and reach up there and hit that little bell for the notification so y'all get a notification on the next video. But anyway, uh, for all y'all that have been watching for a long time, I want to, I know I don't need to do this, but I'm going to, I want to kind of apologize for my content here lately. It's been kind of slow, but all y'all know why because my back and all and I don't want to really talk about that a whole lot more but uh, right now normally I'd be in a tree every day most of the day filming hunting but it's just not happening right now I got to let this thing heal up and it is getting better it's just it's just gonna be a lot longer process than this neck but anyway uh, just wanted to say that I'm not really late this morning I just kind of laid there when I I woke up about four this morning just I kind of felt it a little sore so I just kind of got flat and just laid there I think that's gonna be the only way I'm gonna get this thing to heal up focus camera uh, it's cool this morning boy it would have been a nice golly it have been a nice day in the woods but we ain't really missed anything yet we're uh, we're gonna be all right and the quicker I can get it better when rifle season gets here we can roll on with that even though y'all know I'd rather be sitting up there with a bow but probably not going this year but anyway got pj in the back we're easing on down i got something i got in the mail that i'm gonna show y'all here in just a little bit i'm excited about this and i'll i'll kind of tell y'all when we open why i got this one and uh anyway gonna be pretty interesting day today what are you doing huh. go run around and play go run around and play all right, so here we go. So as y'all know, I believe it was last year, I started hunting out of the saddle. And this is the first one that, or the only one that I had. Oh, uh, this is the tethered. Both these, sad, the new saddle we got here is made by tethered. I hope the lighting's good enough under here. Sometimes when you get out in the sun, it's not the best, but uh, I think we're gonna be all right on the lighting. Reckon I ought to go out in the sunshine. Let's go out in the sunshine. Let's fix this. All right, so I pulled out in the sunshine and that wasn't working neither. Let's see if we can make this work. It usually turns out better than I think. But anyway, this was the uh, tethered Phantom uh, one piece saddle, one panel they call it, that you see the only thing that I don't like, didn't like about this saddle or don't like about it is as you see it, pretty much no matter whether you've got your tether to the tree, it kind of will start riding, riding up your back. And you're kind of every few minutes, you're kind of adjusting down, adjusting down. And uh, they made one where the loops, where your bridge goes on, I forget what it's called, but it's kind of adjustable, which will make it not ride. All right, so we got that. I really like it, and I got two bags, sis haulers or whatever they call it on both sides for your stuff. And then we got a package in the mail. Wouldn't have bought this, but uh, Cody really likes hunting in a tree. He really likes bow hunting. Got him a safety harness that he can sit in like a hang-on stand, lock-on type stand. He really likes that, but of course you know how little boy is he wants to do like his daddy and I, I tell you I've never felt safer uh, hunting than when I've been in the saddle so I've done lots of studying lots of research kind of looking to see what all they got here we'll probably look at that later oh but tethered's come up with a lot of stuff and there's a lot of different kind of saddles out there i've just kind of started with these and i like them this one here is a new one that they've came out with it's the ess by by uh tethered yeah see that yep 
Okay, what it is is John Eberhardt. It's the John Eberhardt Signature Series, ESS. Which Eberhardt, John Eberhardt, I've watched a ton of his videos. He's got, he even started his own YouTube channel. He's been hunting out of a saddle since, I think the late 70s, uh, early 80s or whatever. I think he's got the record for the most, most uh, book deer, Pope and Young deer with a bow in the country. And he, most of his, most of his hunting is in uh, Michigan. Lots of it is in Michigan. All right, and this is a two panel saddle. I'm gonna cut you off for just a second because this takes a, it's a little trick to getting this thing put together and put on. I've watched the videos, but I'm gonna have to refresh, refresh my mind on it. So let me check this out real quick where I don't bore y'all with me trying to figure it out. All right, so I think I got it figured out. This thing, it's a little different because it's got two panels, but I think I've got her which way. The two panels, I'm gonna show y'all. It'll be a little more easier to uh, understand. Let me turn this camera down just a little. Oh, it's too much. Maybe right there. All right, so the two panels, Kind of, it's a little, a little tricky just watching him put it on. But I think once you get the hang of it, it's like anything else. It'll, it'll uh, be right. And I haven't put it on. I haven't adjusted anything yet. And I'm not sure if I got it right yet. All right, I know that's right. So I got to get my br the bridge is different on this one too. It is adjustable. And it's a uh, it's a strap instead of uh, the rope, and I ain't supposed to be bending and can't hardly bend. But I'm gonna try to move PJ, get inside this thing. It'll be a lot easier when I get to where I can move right. All right, so two panels. All right, I got the two panels where they're supposed to be. Now I gotta. Get my belt. All right, so I got them on. I really want that tighter. All right, I know I got it right now. I'm so weak, I can't even adjust this belt. All right, so got it on. It rides good, All right? So I have really learned a lot. Let me get these things. These here that go between your legs are basically not doing anything. And probably before it's over with, I'm going to cut them off because they're, they're not doing anything really. Uh, unless you fall through the saddle. I better not cut them off. I'll probably leave them on here. I'm being a little slow with this. I probably should have already played with it, but I usually bring it to y'all just like, I right, then we're gonna hook right there. Y'all bear with me, we're gonna get it. All right, let me make sure these get, oh boy. All right, then we're gonna hook may have it backwards. You can usually tell when you've got them backwards. I may not even have this thing on right. I hope I do. Oh, I see. I feel it now. All right. Now, that one on hook. Am I still on camera? I can't even. I forgot trying to figure this thing out. I know this is where they go. If I can get them in there. Well, them's tight, tighter than my other one. I suppose that's where they go. All right, so. Oh, man. Quit, PJ. You don't know I'm still sober, do you? Quit. I 
do kind of like that. It's a little tight, but they ain't gonna come out. They will fall out of my other one. I ain't got that, and that ain't perfect. But for this video, it'll be fine. Get out, girl. I don't think on John's saddle he even runs these straps between his legs, but we're gonna put them on there for now until we get comfortable. Ah. All right, them's on, that's out of the way. Okay, here's your bridge, and this is adjustable. He says he runs his like at 16. I think that's where he's comfortable. That'll be something we just have to play with. And if y'all can see, this, he says the biggest thing on his saddle is the two panel plus these big D-rings. And it lets the your bridge, when you're up against the tree, kind of float. That way it never uh, binds you or tries to ride like my Phantom does. And this one being a two panel, I'm trying, I, this is the part I gotta figure out. Okay, so the bottom part is always gonna be your seat. If I'm right, let me think, let me think. I need to watch another video. I don't want it to come apart just yet, but that's going to be right. Okay, the key to this thing, of course, when you're going in, if you wear it in, you have it pretty tight. I wish I was on a tree. I may do that in a little bit, but anyway, the, the secret to this is two panels. One, this, and you can have, it, it just gets comfortable. You can pretty much sit in this panel, and it never rides and this panel stays wherever you want it. You can go from like a regular seat to, and I'm not explaining this real good. My back's killing me, but uh, anyway, it, it's not gonna ride. And the more I get used to it, the more I'll be able to show y'all. But you, you got your spots right here for your uh, lineman's rope. That's my tail I got. And I, I'm on a, uh, I get this out more and get Cody used to it, we'll show it more. But I got everything that Cody will need and I'll probably put him in my other one because I think he'll be able to, to, to work it. Get down, PJ. So this is my uh, lineman's rope. I'm not doing a good job showing all this today, I'm sorry. I have to get more used. People probably get more used to stuff before they show it to you. All right, here's my lineman's belt. Got a uh, carabiner for for one end, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have to show y'all that. I've got that rope my worn that I'm gonna use instead of the Prusik knot just like that better it's a lot faster there's my lineman's belt and then here is the uh, tree tether that I'm also going to put a ropeman one on instead and I've already got them I meant to bring them I forgot them that I'm gonna put on instead of uh, the Prusik knot. And I got, they, I think they got an eight millimeter and 11 millimeter. I got the little smaller, cause I think it'll be better. It's just, it's plenty strong enough. If that goes around the tree. That goes around the tree. You put your rope, your uh, carabiner on there and uh, hook up. But anyway, I know I didn't explain that just perfect today. But the purpose of the, the uh, two panels is to separate and you can make your seat really, I think it starts off like five or six inches and you go to like a 12 inch seat. And uh, I really like the, the adjustable bridge. I think that's gonna be nice. I just gotta get used to it. And I gotta get to where I can bend and use it and show y'all better. But that's a, uh, that's a, uh, 
the only reason I got it, I would have kept hunting out of the other one. The only reason I got it is for, uh, cause Cody likes it. And one other thing I got that I think will be really handy. I got a pair of knee pads already, but I got these from Tethered. These are super, super nice uh, knee pads. I know that sounds crazy, but if you ever hunted out of a saddle, and I did not use them a lot last year, but uh, a lot of times when you're, the, the most comfortable part is sitting down and then your knees against the tree. But you, if a lot of people will put a pad on the tree. I decided to use the knee pad and you just let your knee hit the tree and you can sit, sleep, do whatever. So as we get to using this more in time, when we get better, I'll, uh, I'll be able to video this better and uh, show y'all more about this two panel part. And we'll probably put Cody in it and we can video better and show y'all that better. But anyway, new ESS tethered saddle. All right, so I almost want to just delete that. I just having one of them days. I thought I was feeling pretty good, but I ain't feeling real good. But I probably won't delete it. We'll uh, y'all get the basics of the saddle, and then we'll uh, do better on it. Maybe when we get in the tree. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to today's Bible verse. We are still on the word fear, Luke chapter eighteen, verse two. I'm gonna read read one and two, and be a good idea to read this whole chapter. This is when Jesus is telling parables on prayer. All right, verse, we're still on the word fear. I'm going to do chapter 18, Luke chapter 18, verse 1 and 2. Now he was telling them a parable to show that at all times they ought to pray and not to lose heart, saying, in a certain city there was a judge who did not fear God and did not respect man. So that's a whole little parable deal. It would be a good idea. We need to all read that. So I decided to come in here and I've been wanting to do a little scouting in this place right here. Some pretty hardwood. We don't have a lot of hardwood down here, but this is a pretty good little piece. And I've been wanting to kind of come in here and see if there's any book signs showing up, any scrapes, see what the acorns is doing and all that kind of stuff. This little spot is, goes in here to kind of a point and uh, it's actually close to, to where we got our panel trap kind of comes into a point here. Oh, excuse me, and uh, see if I can see where they're crossing or what's going on in here. It's a pretty place. It'd be a good place that, since we're gonna have to sit on the ground for a while, this would be a pretty place to, to uh, I was gonna come in here this morning if I hunted, but since we didn't hunt, I'm gonna scout it anyway. And if I can get in here and find us a good spot to see it, see a little piece anyway since we got to sit on the ground. Well, that'd be a good big tree to sit beside or behind. Well, we got a good trail coming right by this stump. That might be where we need to be. It's be fun in here. Alright y'all, so I picked a pretty bad day to do this review on this uh, ESS saddle. Didn't do a good job at all on that. Uh, not necessarily because I didn't know much about it, because I, I have felt like crap all day today. Gonna have days like that. Do a video every day. Uh, be good days and bad days, and today's just one of them days that I felt like crap and uh but anyway the saddle's gonna be nice i do need to watch another video on it from tethered and uh 
study on that a little bit more exactly which panel goes on top and all that to make sure I got all that right. It's it's made for comfort and, and lightweight and all. It's going to be perfect exactly what we want. But anyway, sorry the review wasn't real good. I try to do better than that normally, but it's just having a, having a bad day. But it's dark 30 here and I'm going in the house. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.